Hi, my name is Michael and uh, this video may help you find those missing ports, COM and LPT, from your new Windows operating system. I'm going to present this as a slideshow, uh, mostly because that way I don't have to move the camera and you, you don't have to watch uh, blurry images and other things like that. So it's going to be a slideshow or a PowerPoint presentation to be more precise. The first portion of the PowerPoint show will show my using a piece of uh, ham radio equipment, a vector network analyzer or a VNA, uh, on my older PC and then the difficult process I had, but successful, in getting it onto my new PC. The issue that came up is that the VNA needs to address a COM port when the VNA software is turned on. On the old PC, there was no issue. I ran the equipment for years and never had a problem. But when I tried to run it on the new PC, I couldn't even find a group called ports. So, device manager let me down. Hopefully, this video will show a path to find those missing COM ports and how to populate them where needed. And what follows is my slideshow. Thanks for watching. Oh, and don't subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Well, as I told you on the opening uh, presentation, we're going to be looking at a vector network analyzer. That's this box on the top here. And uh, what this box does, what this box does is it allows the transfer of information from my uh, antenna up on top of a 55 foot tower to enter the box, be transformed into useful information, and that useful information is sent over a USB into my old computer. And once that's done, you get a graph that kind of looks like this. Well, having uh, ran the software successfully on my old PC for a baseline, I then moved my USB cable from the old PC to the new PC, expecting the same thing. But as soon as I ran the software, instead of seeing the VNA coming up ready to analyze, I got the following message shown below. Note, only that new device manager didn't even show a subgroup called ports. At this point I decided to compare how my old PC was matching up with the new PC and what I saw was pretty surprising. The, where between network adapters and the print queue the new Windows PC device manager showed other devices and portable devices. Now they didn't show any ports common LPT so how in the world do you find where your stuff is going? The next step was use a tried and true method of finding what happens when you plug something in. You look at device manager in a real-time way. A new device showed up when I plugged the USB cable from the VNA into the new computer. It shows it went from the left where it went from CSR Gaia to performance counters. It introduced a new uh, device db9-usb-f. At this point I went and researched and tried to look for a driver for DB9 USB under COM ports because that's where they used to be. And I could find nothing. However I looked under um, serial devices and there was a driver. And I updated the new computer by installing the driver for DB9 USB and got the following information. What I saw was that after the installation of the new driver as seen in the bottom part of this uh, graph or this uh, chart, um, 
that all of a sudden ports, common LPT showed up and it was labeled as USB serial port COM8. So I then went into the AIM software. It came up in the not supported. So under the AIM software setup tab, I put 8 in the uh, COM port, closed it out, and then started it over, and it worked perfectly fine. That fixed my problem. So in summary, what we see is that ports COM and LPT was replaced by the group's other devices and portable devices in Windows operating system after Windows 10 operating system 1909. What should be noted and is very important is that legacy computers upgraded to the latest versions did not remove those ports but the new version didn't include them to install. So basically if you get a new computer you're not going to have ports common LPT so you'll need to use a method like this to get your device hooked up. Now at this point my vector network analyzer is working perfectly well on both computers. Hopefully you are able to apply these techniques to your own problem and apply this to any equipment you want to hook up to a COM port.